Today we're gonna to teach you how to make a full-time income selling spreads. It's gonna be good, let's go. So if you've been watching the journey, I've been selling options on this one stock growing a 40K count to now 157K. It's insane, it's unreal. Everyone's telling me, Matt, how do I sell options on this stock now? It costs $6,000 to sell one call or put option. I don't have that money. So that's why I'm making this video on spreads because spreads are the poor man's way to take advantage of time decay with options. Every time you buy an option, you're paying for time decay. And every single day, you're losing money. That's why I wanna teach you how to make that money as an option seller. And in this video, you don't need that much money to do spread options. And I'm excited to go over it. But real quick plug, we're doing an NCAA bracket challenge. You got four days to fill out your bracket with the link in the comments below. If you win, you'll get six months inside my group totally free for first place second place is three third place is one month free there's only about 40 brackets in here so your chance of winning is extremely high i get nothing out of it except for the enjoyment of seeing people compete and i love march madness so let's get into it so right here is the options that are paying the highest premium every single week using a site called bread alerts which is one of my favorite sites to find stocks to sell options on so bread alerts tracks these highest paying premiums they range from 7 to 12 percent at the highest range we got nndm ears ebon the thing is most of these options cost a lot of money to sell every time you sell a put or call option you have to have 100 shares of collateral or stock. So for NNDM, if you were selling an option at the $10 strike price, you could bring in 8.4% yield, but the problem is you need 100 shares of the stock, which is $1,000 collateral, or 100 shares of the stock wherever you bought it recently. So this is not doable for many people because when they get started out, they may only have $500 in their trading account. So what I'm gonna do in this video is teach you how you can use spreads for only 50 bucks, 70 bucks collateral with 50% possible yield on your money. So instead of just 8% yield, we could be looking at selling options to get 30, 50% per week. But the downside is unfortunately 100% of your capital. So the risk reward is a little bit different because you don't have shares you can buy and sell. You could lose the whole thing. That's the biggest risk with credit spreads. So let's go over it right now. The biggest benefit of using spreads and why we're doing them, why we're teaching them to you today, and most importantly, how you can make a full-time income from them is they put time decay in your favor. Every single day, spreads are losing value, and at the end of the week, the spreads could have possibly decayed that 100%, and you could be collecting possibly that full income. So the best part about spreads, selling options, or swing trading, or investing, is it's a set it and forget it type of method. When you're sculping with me in my trading group, or if you're swinging something overnight, it's hard going to bed worrying about $10,000 at risk, waking up tomorrow, maybe seeing a 50% loss or even 100% loss, unfortunately. So I'm curious, guys, why haven't you grabbed my free option trading course in the link in the bio? But these spreads, set it, forget it. You're taking advantage of time decay. The risk tolerance is based on your decision. So you can put something way out of the money, but it doesn't pay as much. You could put it closer to at the money, it pays more, a little more risk. So based on your risk tolerance, based off your level of how much you wanna manage the trade, you can put it to different places and adjust that risk reward accordingly. The best part is it requires less capital. That's why we're here today. That's why I'm making this video. You may not have $1,000 to $10,000 to sell options, so let's teach you how to sell spreads. And let's go over the two spreads we're looking at specifically, the put, credit spread which is a bullish trade on the market when you put this on you're hoping the stock trades sideways or increases and i stole this picture from my options domination course one of my favorite course on options and this is put credit spread here as you can see when you put the spread on you make money if it goes above the break-even point at the time of expiration you'll make that money faster if the stock actually runs up because at that point you'll hit your max profit and from there you're locked in you can't make any more than that but the higher it goes up the more likely you are to collect that max profit which is the goal and max profit will tell you how to calculate it tell you how to look at it soon we got the max loss max profit all down here break even point short put long put you can go over the slide and pause it write it down understand how to calculate all this but I'm gonna do it live in two seconds 
call credit spread. This is the opposite scenario. This is a bearish take on the market. It's like a covered call and the other one's like a cash secured put. So instead of using those two trades, you can turn them into credit spreads and get the exact same play and take advantage of that time decay. Again, we want the stock to drop or trade sideways. If it goes beneath the break even point at the time of expiration, we will be in profit. If it passes the short strike price, we will make our max profit at the time of expiration. These setups, only $3 with the link in the bio. So let's talk about the put credit spread and this is a bullish take on the market. Let's show you a live example. This is a calculator you can use and this is optionsprofitcalculator.com. It shows you how you can collect the premium every single day towards expiration. So like you saw, I'm taking that 40K account to a million bucks this year, just selling options on Riot every single week. If you don't have the capital to do it, I'm gonna show you how you can put on a bullish put credit spread on Riot to take advantage of that time decay and grow your account too. So this is the thing I'm talking about with risk tolerance. If you click sell right here for the put on Riot, you're gonna see the chance of profit right here, 63%, 65, 66, 70, 72. So the further you go down, the higher chance you have of that option expiring out of the money. Ideally, if you have no risk tolerance, you shouldn't be going under 85 to 90. Although these options in the 90 to 95 range don't collect a lot of premium and have much more risk, they have a much higher chance of expiring out of the money. So I do like selling options on this if you don't want to worry about it. If you're totally new, you could be going inside this range. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. Totally education, just trying to help you on your journey. But for my example, I'm going to go at the 80% range, which is the 55 strike price for Riot. And for a put credit spread, you are going to sell the first option. Sell puts and you want to buy a put beneath that the further you go beneath it the more risk you're going to enter inside this trade it's up to you again to analyze and figure out how much risk you want to put on a trade but this is currently trading at 144 dollars so if i click the one right underneath it and i buy that one that one is going to bring in the total credit of the trade to 21 dollars and how credit works in your, in your trading account is when you put on this trade some some brokers give you that money right away. You make $21 right away. That's the worst thing in my opinion because then you have that money that you didn't really earn. Most brokers, the best brokers, will only give you this money when the credit spread loses value. So when the credit spread drops from 20 bucks to zero, that's when you collect the full $20. At the time of expiration, if you let this thing expire out of the money, it should collect you that full 20 bucks. You can always close this out. If it's lower for a profit, five, $10, close it out, make 50%, you're out. So what you wanna pay attention to is the reason we're putting on this spread is because the difference in time decay. When the short option is higher, the time decay is gonna be higher. So theta is $42 right here. And if I scroll down the 54, theta is gonna be $39. So every single day, you're making the difference between those thetas, which is $3 a day. It doesn't seem like much, but inside this trade, you're only risking 80 bucks of your capital and you're making three bucks a day on that $80, which is almost two, 3% yield every single day. It's pretty insane. And I'll show you one more thing. If you want to add more risk, make some more money through the week, you can drop the strike price of your long option. Instead of 54, go to 53, 52, 51, 50, and I'll show you what happens there. When you buy that one, now instead of 20 bucks you're picking up this week, you could make a total of $75 on this play and if riot finishes above 55 bucks you make the full premium if riot finishes above 54 25 i think at that point you'll break even so that's your break even point but right here your risk is the difference between the strike prices minus the premium and that was shown on the slide right here so make sure you take a screenshot write down those calculations or you can just use this calculator I'm gonna show you in a second. But again, you bring in more premium when you spread those strike prices further and further apart. But the problem is you're adding more risk and let's show you that. So this is optionscalculator.com. 
What we're gonna do is take Riot right here. You can check get price, it's at $65. And let's put on a put credit spread like we were showing you. So $55, I'm gonna put that in for my long option. Actually, I'm gonna go 50 bucks for the long option. Just like the example we're showing you here. And then we're gonna go for the short option, we need to go higher. So that creates that credit. That's a credit part of it. And then we click agree, terms and conditions, calculate. And you can see here the total cost is $75 net credit in this trade. So it's not a cost, it's a credit. That $75 is theoretically going into your account. You collect it as it decays. The max risk, unfortunately, is a lot more. It's $425. So if this finished, underneath that long strike price you could lose that full 425 at the time of expiration so you're risking a lot more than what you can make but that's the price you pay to take advantage of time decay so as we scroll down here you can just see the chart and the price levels you'd have to stay around to make that money and each day it shows you the time decay too so march 15th is today you can see these ones at the 65.50, we're at zero. So that's our break even point there. But the next day our break even point drops down to $64. And then the next day it drops down to $62. Next day it drops down to 59.50. And the next day 56. So every single day, let's say the stock trades sideways, you're gonna collect the next day 3%, 14 bucks. The next day you could collect 8%. $34. So what investments can you find that can make 3% per day passively? And then the next day it makes you 5%. The next day it makes you 5%. The next day it makes you 5%. So these are just really great investments. And then at the time of expiration, at 17.5% yield, the full collection on your premium is done. And if it expires out of the money, that's where you get that full yield. The only problem is if the stock drops really hard today, it's gonna to show a negative sign, but the very next day, your time decay is gonna kick in and you're gonna make money from that, dropping that negative sign from negative 23 to nine. And if it drops the next day and it decays, you can still make money as long as you stay above this price here at the time of expiration, which is 54.25. We need to stay above that to break even at the time of expiration. And it's going to show it down here. So if you finish at 54.50, you only collect 5% of your capital, 25 bucks. Again, the most you're risking is right here. The cost is that. And let's show you one more example. If we go to the 51 range, so again, this is closer to the strike price of 50. So you're not going to collect as much, but you're not risking as much. Um, before, if we type in those two numbers, you're risking about, let's switch them, 425 divided by 75. You're trying to make $1 and you're risking five. So what that means is if this trade goes against you for one trade, it takes about 5.6 trades to make up for it in the long run. And we'll show you how this changes when you put the strike prices closer to each other. So right here, this trade is 12 bucks possible credit at the time of expiration, maximum risk is 88 now. So the risk reward is not great. I'll show you one more example to make this risk reward better and how you can increase it. But this is like the safer side. So the risk reward is awful when you go super out of the money. But for people who are new to this, it might be better to be safe and just have that risk reward just be a little uneven because the chance of it going down here, again, like I showed you, is in the 80 to 90% chance of profit. So the chance of it hitting any of these numbers is less than 10. So again, the risk reward for this, not great if you calculate it. If you have one trade go against you, you need to have seven good trades to make up for it. So actually worse risk reward from the previous example I gave you, but this is a chart that shows you decay per day and how much you can make per day, as well as the break even points and how those change per day. But the best part is the time decay just drops at a break even point dramatically and it drops very hard in the last three days of trading. So now let's show you better risk reward and that's where you put on something in the 60 to 50% range of profit. So that could be, let's say 57 for that put price and then we'll do 58 here and we'll click enter and we'll show you what that looks like. So your entry cost is now 38 bucks. Your max risk is 62. So 
If you have one trade go against you, you need about 1.6 trades to make up for it. Way better. So if you can pick the right direction and you know generally where something's going, you can take some more risk in this and that's where you can have the better risk reward. And again, if you can risk 62 bucks to make maybe 48% on your investment, let's see what it actually is, 30, oh, sorry, 61%. That's a pretty good yield on your investment. That's credit spreads. That's how you utilize them. And again, the further you go out of the money, the worse the risk reward is. But the further you go at the money, the better it is. But if it goes against you, the higher chance you have of losing. So it's just a game of balancing what your risk reward is, honestly. But this is how we take advantage of time decay for the poor man who doesn't have the money to put on $6,000 for Riot or $5,000 for Riot. And lastly, I'm going to link a video you don't want to miss in the top right over here. How to sell credit spreads to make 100 bucks a day. Check it out. Peace. This is by far the easiest way to bring in $100 per day trading options. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this video.